consider a vector in a three-dimensional coordinate system. Recall that a vector is a mathematical quantity that has magnitude as well as direction. A vector is represented by an arrow. Where it points will tell you the direction of that vector and the length of the arrow represents the magnitude of that vector. This is a vector whose initial point sits on the origin. But just so that you know, in 3D geometry, we will have vectors like this also whose initial point is not at the origin. Ok, now let's name this vector as vector A. It's making some angles with the positive x-axis, positive y-axis and the positive z-axis. It makes 60 degrees with positive x-axis, 120 degrees with positive y-axis and 45 degrees with positive z-axis. We call these three angles made by a vector with positive x, y and z-axis the direction angles of the vector. And generally, we use Greek letters like alpha, beta and gamma to represent these angles, where alpha is the angle a vector makes with positive x-axis, beta and gamma are the angles that a vector makes with positive y and z-axis respectively. Also, the range of each direction angle is between 0 and pi, including both 0 and pi. It is a condition or criterion that ensures uniqueness. To simplify things for our convenience, we want every vector on a 3D plane passing through the origin to have a unique set of direction angles. I will elaborate more on this in a moment. So to put it in plain words, the direction angles are the angles that a vector makes with the positive x, y and z axis. Intuitively, you can think of direction angles as a way to represent the direction of a vector in 3D space. From a given set of direction angles, we can tell where a vector is directed. Note that the direction angles do not tell us anything about the magnitude of a vector. They will only tell you about its direction. For example, a vector twice the magnitude and in the same direction will have the same set of direction angles. Now here's an example of a vector that lies on the xz plane. It makes 135 degrees with the positive x-axis, 45 degrees with the positive z-axis. How much does it make with y-axis? Since it's fully inside the xz plane, it will make a 90 degree angle with the positive y-axis. So its direction angles are as follows. So these examples were taken just to show you that a direction angle can be acute, obtuse or a right angle. I want to elaborate on a point that I made earlier about the range of these angles. Let's go back to our earlier example where a vector is clearly visible in the second octant. Here, it makes an angle 60 degrees with the positive side of the x-axis, but it can also make an angle from the other side or from the other direction with a positive x-axis. And that angle will be 360 degrees minus 60 degrees. We will get a reflex angle, meaning greater than 180 degrees or pi. So, if it was not for the condition, Alpha can be either of these two angles. Similarly, beta and gamma can be either of these two angles in which one of the two possible angles is a reflex. So as you can see, there can be eight possible sets of direction angles for this vector. But by laying down this condition, we are breaking it down to one unique set and in which there will be no angle greater than 180 degrees. Alright, we will end the video here. In the next video, we will talk about the direction angles of a line. Thank you for watching.